we had two type of wells. Um, right here. It, very easy, it's a PVC pipe, and the handouts have very good information in terms of diameters and everything. And then you wanna have a screen. Okay. You screen it out and make holes or cut, transversal cut all around so the water can come in, but the screen will avoid all the particles, so the particles to come in, okay? And then, inside of the well, you have, you have a cup, okay, to cover because of rainfall, and a stick where you're gonna mark, and then this is the latest technology. <laughs> Is a phone, a piece of phone, that it will allow to float. So if the water table rise, this stick is going to rise with that because the little phone, okay? Now, if you don't want it to, you want it to have a very low tech, you can do have the same concept, screen, cut, the cup and you can put you want to recycle your bottles you can put a bottle there and just glue it together to that pvc pipe okay the only thing that you need to make sure is that the seal here and that's what i like the phone better the seal is pretty tight because if you get water inside then it's not going to float Okay, and the idea is kind of float with the water tables. And if you get water, you're not gonna get a good uh, reading of your, of your water tables, okay? Um, the tensiometers and the wells are very, very popular, at least in vegetables. Um, they are easy to build, very inexpensive, maybe $15. Easy to maintain and very easy to install. So here is Jean installing, and you can see, if you guys want to approach Jean, you can see um, the different soil layers that you're going to go through. And at, through CPG irrigation, normally you're going to get the first layer is going to be a little bit more, um, maybe the first eight inches, 12, is going to be a darker sand, and then like a lighter sand, and then you're gonna get to a point that is gonna get very hard to dig because you're gonna get into the hard pan. And that hard pan is gonna be built at organic metal content or some clay. And you're gonna see it. It's very, very, very easy to see because the color changed drastically. And after that, the water will start floating inside of the hole. And you can see it here, if you wanna see it, the water is, he passed the layer, and you see the different colors there. You install the well, and you put the, the soil back. Try, try to be the top of the cup. Try to be as close as the bed of the soil surface that you can be. But if it's not possible, because you cannot dig any more, the calibration will be very easy. If this is the surface, you still have a little bit of uh, pipe on top, okay? So with a tape, you're gonna go inside, and when the water is stabilized to a level, you're gonna measure the top of that water to the top of the pipe and then the second measurement is going to be the top of the surface of the soil or the bed and you're going to subtract that level let's see if the water is 20 inches and the top it's four inches your water levels is 16 inches okay so you're going to put back you're going to put back and it's already floating there with that water level, and you're gonna make markers uh, stick there that will be, you're gonna write 16. 
you can erase the old one that you have and you're gonna make a new one and you're gonna write 16 there and the next one is gonna be 17 and 18 and that's the calibration part of it so when it's, it's still rising right now it's not stabilized that's that's the way you're gonna get a true reading so normally in a field it will take maybe 15 minutes to stabilize all the water going into and then you can calibrate it at that level so you're gonna have a true reading uh, together with the tensiometers and normally when I do I put the well in and the tensiometers maybe a couple of feet away so the people that collect the data they have to do just one stop okay um, a lot of people ask me, so how many wells and how many tensiometers do I need to have in a field? It's basically going to depend is how homogeneous is going to be that field. You know you feel very well. And uh, if it's a dry spot, maybe you want to do one setting there. And maybe there is a very high moisture level in another one, you want to do another setting there. Or if it's totally homogeneous, you just want to do one in the middle. You have something to add? No, I, I was just, just going to say these are real popular with a lot of vegetable growers because the nice thing about this compared to the tensiometer, with the tensiometer you got to get out of your truck. Here you can ride by and as long as that level stays the same you're doing pretty good. So that's why a lot of people like them. It's a quick visual verification of what's going on in the field. Yeah, they are very important for citrus too. Citrus as well. <laughs> 